Hello everyone and welcome to Marina's Decacord channel. The topic of today's video is why guitar needs 10 strings. Actually, it's one of the most frequently asked questions I get and that's why the topic of today's video is anything other as provocation. But though, I'll show you something. Let's discuss it. As they say in the most up-to-date researches, like this for example, we cannot determine with certainty now when the first six-string guitar was constructed. But it's around the beginning of the 19th century, the end of the 18th century. So, after that, the humankind has come to a conclusion that six is an optimal number of strings for a guitar. But does that really mean that all the multi-string guitarists stopped at once playing their multi-string guitars? Let's recall some of our favorite guitarists of the 19th century. For example, Napoleon Coast, Julia Rigondi, Johann Kaspar Merz. Napoleon Coast was playing the six-string guitar with one extra string and he called this guitar heptachord. And you should know that all his compositions that you like playing on six-string guitar actually were composed for his heptachord. Also, Julia Rigondi was playing the six-string guitar with one extra string and he was calling this guitar mellophonic guitar. And finally, Johann Kaspar Merz was playing six-string guitar with four extra strings. So, it doesn't look surprising when in 1826 Ferdinando Carulli, together with René Lacotte, constructed a 10-string guitar with 10 strings on one fretboard and named it as Decacord. After that, we know that Antonio de Torres constructed a guitar, a six-string guitar, which we know now as classical, classical six-string guitar construction. But does that really mean that all the multi-string guitarists at once stopped playing their multi-string guitars? Did you know that Antonio de Torres experimented in building multi-string guitars himself? So, the 20th century also shows us some great 10-string guitarists like Narcisa Yepes or Nikita Koshkin, for example. Actually, it surprises me a lot when today, in 21st century, I get questions like why you play 10-string guitar or aren't 6 strings enough? It's just lack of education and I hadn't known it myself until I started my research. So let the answer be. Six strings are enough for those for whom six strings are enough. There are a lot of amazing, great, huge guitarists among them. I should say the majority of the guitarists. And seven strings, for example, are enough for those for whom seven strings are enough. For me, 10 strings are enough. I just don't need more and I don't want less. That's why. I've promised to show you something, so it'll be one of the reasons why I personally prefer 10 string guitar. It gives me an opportunity to play every polyphonic piece I want in original and letting all the voices go as they need. For example, now I can sit and just play a short snippet from Bach's invention number four, just to upgrade my technique and to enrich my soul. This information is just a brief message and just a tip of the iceberg. So, if you want more, I will share. You are welcome. Also, for all of you who play 10 string guitar, I will share the shoot music and tab of this invention. You will find the link in the description of this video. This educational video does not mean that my channel turns into educational. 
very very soon two videos will come out one of them will be a 10 string cover on a very good song and second one will be my original composition for 10 string guitar so please let's keep in touch and stay tuned